Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this. this. A rich man's world. I have turned a it is a very cool transition. It's a creative one, a way to spice something up. If you have someone wearing sunglasses or a helmet or anything like that. And I got this idea from Shot by Bryce. I'll leave his Instagram in the description. Without further ado, we'll get started on this. So... This is what I have, my bins, and we'll start by grabbing footage. Found my first clip of this player throwing the ball. Same as first clip as my example, just to keep it easy. And then I have this other clip of guys in the dugout. So once we have this clip ready and this clip ready, we're going to make duplicates. Alright, once you have your duplicate made, duplicates made, you'll just toss two right here. And then you'll go and find the spot that you want. We're going to add a frame hold, so we're going to find the best spot. I'm thinking right about here, because it just looks the best. You'll just hit add frame hold. Same thing on this one. And then... You see, it'll give you the frame hold after, and then you'll just delete these two. And we'll leave it for th at this length for now. And then, so this is what you have. Nothing, <laughs> clearly nothing yet. And then, next, we will have to, th this is where we're going to start our zoom. Okay, once you're on this clip, we're going to take this dot. You're going to double click, get this dot, put it into one side of his sunglasses, and then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom all the way in really far in this case until you can no longer see his the bezels of his sunglasses, so right there. And then you're going to add a keyframe at the very beginning, and then you're going to just for test you're gonna go all the way out here and you're gonna zoom out into your original um, scale alright guys so now we're going to do our mask and we're going to make sure you select the top clip because you know I, I've made my mistakes and some this bottom clip will like you say, if you just scrub, this bottom clip is just going to get selected. So you just have to make sure that you click on this top one. And then just find, like, right about there. And then we're going to go in. Maybe not quite 200, like 100. That way you can see pretty close. And we're going to go over to your effect controls under opacity. Click on the pen tool. And then we're going to do a... I'm just going to make a rough outline. But you guys are going to want to make a good outline because you're going to very easily see um like it, you're going to be right next to sunglasses when you're zooming out so we have to make a good mask here but you know for tutorial sake I don't really have to so I'll speed this up and then I'll talk to you guys when I'm finished Alrighty, so when you guys are all finished up with your mask, it is going to look like, hold on, let me select that. It's going to look like this, and that is the way we want it. And then we are going to go, for just so you can see, we're going to toggle this track off. And this is what you're going to see, and we're just going to invert that, and then you will be able to see through your sunglasses. And then you can just do some fine tuning with your mask feather. I like to kind of barely get a feather in there. And expand it just a tad bit so that we cover all of that bezel. And if you unselect from that, say select this layer. This is kind of what you're going to see. You can make your mask. Your mask should look just a teensy bit better. But right now this is what we're looking at. And so now we're going to do the blending so that the sunglasses turn back into sunglasses. And that's when we're going to select this bottom layer. And then we're going to mess with our opacity. So right now we're... Have it about... We'll put a time 
or a keyframe right about here at 100%. Or we're, we've got to toggle it on so we can see. We're going to toggle it at 0%. And then we are going to scrub over here. And right about here, I want it to be back to normal. So if we just scrub through, this is what we're looking at. Maybe just make this a tad bit. You know, you just kind of mess around to see what you want. And then in just a little bit. So that's what we have there. And then with this this extra clip that we took from to get our um, freeze frame from earlier, we're just going to slide this over. And I already matched mine up, but what, you, what you're just going to want to do is make sure you match your end of your freeze frame to your clip so that it's a very smooth transition so that there's no... Like, for example, this, uh, you don't want that, like, just random cut. It just doesn't look as smooth. If I just control Z that, see how much smoother that is. And then, so we're done with the main transition. This is what it should look like. Very smooth. And now for just the final adjustments to make it a, just make it look better. We are going to throw an adjustment layer, you know, for some color correction because I shot S-Log footage here. And then we are going to go into our audio bin. I just threw on this random beat. Toss that. And then we are going to go back to audio, sound effects. Now, if you're like me, I was looking for this sound effect for such a long time because I s so many people used it and it's like the perfect mask transition sound effect. I don't know why. It is just very good and I couldn't find it anywhere. It took me like a month or two and I found it on accident. But so you guys don't have to go through that pain. It is called um, Metallic Riser. You just look that up on YouTube and you'll get this exact one. And we're going to match this up. Um... Yeah, right there just looks perfect. And if you have like a slower zoom out or faster, you can always go here, speed duration, and just make sure you can change the speed, but just make sure you maintain audio pitch so that you don't get any funky sounds. And this is what we're gonna. One last adjustment. We're just gonna go to here, keyframe the audio, and make it fade out. And then we're gonna go over to effects and go type in dip this dip to black dissolve transition throw that on the end and this is what we're gonna have as a finished product so it's just a it's a very clean fairly easy transition and I mean it's definitely gonna set you a little apart to your competition because not too many people mess around with masking transitions, especially for sporting content. I kinda took it from I mean I know a couple guys that do some very cool um stuff, but like your normal social media posts won't be having these. And it's it's just a great transition in my opinion, super cool. And you know, I thank you guys for watching all the way if you made it here. And I just ask that you drop a like if you liked it and dislike if you didn't. And think about subscribing to the channel if you want some more tutorials and sports videography content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.